When we connect the society with logistics and transport and industries and healthcare and many other applications, we really rely on the network to always be there and always be responsive and always functioning the way it's expected to function. But if you want people to, to really trust the infrastructure, then you have to have a secure and trustworthy network. My name is Eva Fogelström. I'm head of the security research at Ericsson. So when defining security for 5G and beyond, and also for the Internet of Things, uh, we work a lot with standardization to achieve global standards, so that we have these solutions that are the same all over the world. And then we also work on, on design and implementations and making sure that we have all the security aspects taken into consideration in the actual development. And then when the network is operating, we also have monitoring and response and processes for handling that. In connected logistics, for example, you may have food that's being transported in containers, and then you have sensors in there and you read like the temperature or the humidity, and you need to know this information because you're the owner of the food and you need to know where to ship the food to. Then we have a solution that we developed for this and standardized earlier this summer, it's called OSCOR. There you can do both integrity protection of the information so that you know that no one can tamper with the information along the way. And you can also do encryption so that no one else can read the information that comes to you. And that solution runs on top of everything. So regardless of what network you have, what access you have, it goes over anything. When you want to connect billions of things, really, uh, one of the key aspects is identity management and having identifiers for these different devices so that you know who is connected and so that they know wh what they are connected to. So depending on the outcome of the authentication, when you verify the identity, you can decide what that device is allowed to do. And you can also use these keys then for integrity protection, so protecting the information that is being sent without necessarily encrypting it. So making sure that the information is not changed when it goes from the device to the network and the other way around. When we connect the society with logistics and transport and industries and healthcare and many other applications, we need to be able to rely on the network infrastructure and the connectivity. And therefore, what we strive to do is to build a trustworthy and secure 5G network. Reliable in the sense that it's always up and running, secure with the right security properties to withstand attacks, and then also with some means to verify the security of the network.